problem will involve using the equation I just gave you, which is uh, molarity is equal to solubility times uh, partial pressure. So this is molarity, which is, uh, of course, units of moles per liter. This is uh, solubility, and this is kind of confusing. Um, this, this solubility con solubility constant, this is partial pressure. So in this question, it tells us that the solubility of nitrogen gas at 25 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere pressure is equal to 6.8 times 10 to the negative fourth moles per liter. It asks or tells us also that the partial pressure, P sub G, is equal to uh, 0.76 atmospheres. Uh, it then asks what is the concentration. So in other words, it gives us K, gives us P sub G, and asks us to solve for uh, the concentration, that is the molarity. I should point out that the solubility constant has to be in units of moles uh, per liter atmosphere. And the way you handle that is by taking this value and dividing it by, uh, or multiplying it, I guess, by 1 over the pressure that we've been given, which in this problem is uh, 1 atmosphere. So the true value of K is equal to 6.8 times 10 to the negative fourth moles per liter atmosphere in this particular problem. So really all you have to do is take K, put it into here, take the partial pressure, put it in for there, and then solve for the concentration and that will give you the answer. This question also involves the same equation, the uh, partial, the molarity or concentration being equal to uh, the solubility constant multiplied by the partial pressure. In this equation it's asking us to solve for uh, K, the solubility constant, also known as Henry's constant. Algebraically we can solve for K by noting that it is going to be equal to the solubility divided by the partial pressure. We then read the rest of the problem. It tells us that the partial pressure of CO2 in this uh, scenario is 6.5 atmospheres. It tells us that the concentration is a 2.2 times 10 to the negative 1 molar. So just like our previous problem, this is one in which we just take the numbers, throw them into there, and uh, plug it out on our calculator, and we will get the correct answer. In this question, we're asked to solve for or to determine the molality of a 25.4% by mass uh, aqueous solution of, uh, of phosphoric acid, as formula as H3PO4. Uh, we have to remember that molality, which is different from molarity, <laughs> molality, molality is equal to moles of solute divided by uh, liters, or sorry, kilograms. <laughs> Yeah, well, if it were liters, that would be molarity. Kilograms of solvent, so this is really a mass uh, relation. Well, it's not purely a mass relationship, but anyway. Um, so we're told, once again, that the solution is 25.4% uh, phosphoric acid by mass. What that means, then, is that if I took 100 grams of this solution, 25.4 grams, so I'll write down in 100 grams of this solution. And by the way, the uh, solvent, in this case, is... Uh, presumably going to be water. That's usually the salt we use for these strong acids. So if I had 100 grams of this solution, logically, because it's 25.4% phosphoric acid by mass, 25.4 grams would be uh, phosphoric acid, and then uh, whatever is left, which is 74.6 grams, would be water. Okay, so once again, we're trying to determine the moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent. So, if I've got 25.4 grams of phosphoric acid, in order to determine the molality, I need to determine how many moles of phosphoric acid that is, moles of H3PO4. Do you guys know how to do that? You should from last semester. I go ahead and determine that one mole of phosphoric acid, based on its molecular weight, remember hydrogens weigh 1, phosphorus is weigh, I think, 30 or something, oxygens weigh 16. I have to determine how many grams that is. Uh, going to the periodic table, I determined earlier that that's 98 grams. So I can just plug and chug, and I get an answer of 0.259 moles. So 25.4 grams of phosphoric acid is 0.259 moles of phosphoric acid. Now, molality, I need to determine kilograms of solvent. I've got 74.6 grams of water. 
How many kilograms is that? Can you figure that out? I bet you can. We've got uh, 1,000 grams in one kilogram. So I just plug and chug, and that tells me that uh, this 74.6 grams is 0 0.0746 kilograms. So uh, that is not too bad. I just take this number, throw it in for moles of solute. I take this number, throw it in, throw it in for kilograms of solvent, plug and chug. That should give me the answer for the molality for this particular solution.